This is the all-new 2014 Kia Rondo. It was last sold as a 2012 model in Canada. They skipped 2013. They've gone right to 2014. Why do people like this vehicle in our country? Well, you get to move a family around, either five people and even seven passengers in this. It competes with the Journey from Dodge, it competes with the Chevy Orlando, and of course the Mazda 5. What's great about this new vehicle, it has the same engine that's featured in the new Forte. Two liter direct injection with 164 horsepower. So we're here in Galveston, Texas, that's right, Texas, to drive along the Gulf of Mexico and down through the Houston area. The ironic thing is, this car is not sold in the U.S. It's just for Canadians and it's been tuned specifically with the suspension for our rough Canadian roads. Rondo was very popular from a versatility point of view. Uh, whether you're hauling groceries or sporting equipment, the Rondo was very functional, uh, great value for money, uh, great fuel economy. Kept all that and we just made everything better, starting with the exterior styling, now holds the signature grille. Uh, the side panels and uh, overall styling, as you can see, has been uh, substantially improved. Uh, addition of the panoramic sunroof, things like LED uh, lighting just completes the whole package. Now the interior of this Kia Rondo really is an amazing showcase in just how far this company has gone in a short period of time. The level of materials and finish in here is what you would expect from a premium German car just 10 years ago. Soft touch dash, the way all of the materials fit inside the dash is absolutely first rate. Beautiful looking, depending on the trim level, it comes with a different applique on the front here. This is the top, top model with a beautiful eight inch screen. Now in some of the reviews I've done, I talk about the information, entertainment and navigation screens having an almost cartoonish look. The graphics are really old fashioned looking. This is one of the best I've seen, and especially in a price point like this Kia Rondo. The Rondo is available with five passengers, that's your typical crossover, but also available with the optional seven row seating. Now when you don't have the seven seats, you've got these wonderful big storage bins in the rear cargo area where you can hide things underneath the floor, which is great for security. There's also little bins in the second row under the floor as well, kind of reminds you of the Dodge Grand Caravan. But this is a wonderful vehicle for families that are looking to move not only their kids but stuff around. Starts at just over $21,000 and goes up to $32,000 for this fully maxed out version that we're sitting in here. Now this Rondo is a similar wheelbase to the Mazda 5, one of its major competitors, but this car is lower and it's wider and it feels much bigger on the inside, side to side, with the big open dash, especially when you add in the optional huge panoramic sunroof. So the windshield has been moved very far forward. It has the very small triangle windows in the A-pillar, much the way you'd get in the Toyota Prius. Now it has a two liter direct injection engine, brand new engine. It's the same one they use in the new Forte. 164 horsepower and 100 156 foot-pounds of torque matched to a six-speed automatic transmission the only engine available and it's a good one it's the second time I've had a chance to drive it I was impressed with it in the Forte and it is the right choice for this car because it gets good mileage but it has enough power and torque to move as many as seven people along in comfort now speaking of comfort They've done a nice job of insulating the engine from the cabin, so it's nice and quiet. In addition, because this car is not sold in the United States, Kia Canada had input into how they wanted the suspension dampened. They actually went through a bunch of different tests, shock absorbers and systems to find out what would work well in our harsh Canadian conditions. Harsh meaning bumpy roads, lots of potholes, and a lot of frost in the spring and the fall. So they've dialed it in to be comfortable, softer than the Mazda 5, and a nice insulation job from the outside world. Now the steering wheel has what's called flex steer. It changes the weight of the steering but it doesn't really do anything else. It has sport, normal and comfort. Comfort is what you would use for maneuvering in the city. Now speaking of the steering and I've complained about this before from Kia and Hyundai cars. They have a vague on center feel. Not a lot of input back from the steering wheel to the driver. It's the way they dial it in. I'm particularly sensitive to this because I drive so many cars throughout the year but I would guarantee that most people will drive this car and not notice. It's just nerdy guys like me. It's been a design-led transformation, and it actually has raised awareness in the Canadian market of how committed Kia is in terms of design, not only at the styling of the vehicle, but how it's engineered, how safe of it is, and the technology it holds as well.